YouTube, this is Lobo and this is the introduction video for the channel My Colorado Walkabout. Um, the short of it is, is I created this channel for family and friends so they could uh, follow my uh, coming adventures on this crazy ass idea that I have. Uh, if you've happened to this, cross this channel and you're looking around trying to figure out what the heck's going on here, uh, basically um, for the last three years I've been trying to devise a plan uh, to become a free man of the land. I uh, want to live independent of our society. Uh, it's not because I don't like people. I actually love people. I love Americans. Uh, on, on, on the contrary, I'm actually trying to uh, show people that it's possible to be self-reliant, uh, to get away from some of the things that bind us. Because sometimes it's, uh, I guess it's one of those things where our possessions become our, our enslavement, if you will, if you want to think of it that deeply. Um, I have the ability to do this and I'm fortunate that I can do this because I don't have a mortgage payment uh, and I don't have a family of my own, I don't have any children or, or, or anybody to take care of. Uh, it's just me and the dogs. So I am uh, had this crazy scheme and I was trying to find a way to finance this uh, little adventure and uh, I think I've come up with a plan, had a friend of mine kind of turn me on to gold prospecting. And uh, this, this uh, grand plan of mine is uh, to live on public lands and to prospect for gold and precious gems, uh, acquiring enough wealth that I can put some money down on some land. Um, I, it's a bit of a challenge, it's, uh, especially considering I know very little about panning. I know a little bit about camping on public lands, not a lot, but I, I can survive. So uh, hopefully um, I will, you know, if these videos, if you do watch any of these videos, um, Hopefully I will be an example, a successful example of what to do in any given situation. Uh, but I'm afraid that probably won't be the case. There's probably going to be a lot of videos of me screwing up. And, and hopefully whoever would watch those would, would learn that what I'm doing is probably the wrong way of going about it. So uh, what I've done to help on this little uh, this little adventure is I've entered into networking. I, I'm not one to join groups. I uh, Not that I don't like groups of people. Um, I prefer individuals. Uh, I tend to have to give up too much of my independent thinking uh, to be a part of a group. But um, I'm watching a gentleman out uh, out in the east uh, in the Georgia Gold Belt by the name of Oro, and uh, he's on an expedition. And from watching his and, and him listening to him talk, uh, I went over and checked out the Gold Prospectors Association of America, and, and pretty much it's it's a pretty damn cool organization. I uh, went ahead and joined up. Uh, the annual dues uh, is $84. Um, it gets me some, some small gifts, a gold pan, a hat, and a, a couple other things. But it, what it gets me is this mining guide, uh, which has the locations to, I uh, believe, if I remember correctly, it's up to 400 uh, different uh, mining claims uh, around the United States, including Alaska. Uh, and you can also camp on them. I believe all, if not all of them, most of them you can camp for free. Uh, this will uh, definitely be uh, helpful um, in my pursuits um, because uh, I'm starting this rather late in the season. I hope to uh, hope it doesn't take too long to acquire enough to, to get me a little piece of land. Uh, but I'm starting late in the season, particularly in Colorado, because the, the creeks and rivers are going to be freezing up here in a couple of months. So I'm going to snowbird it, as they say up here, and, and head down south. Uh, so I'll be migrating along the gold belt based upon the weather. Um, and, and being a part of this organization is going to make it a lot easier. It should make it a lot easier. And I'm really looking forward to getting out there and, and meeting other prospectors and seeing how they're doing and, and, and doing the networking. It's a, it's a good bunch of people. So uh, I don't know if I've left anything out, but that's pretty much a short of it. It's just uh, myself. I go by Lobo. My uh, real name is Brian. Uh, and I have my two dogs. That's uh, Miss Penny Lou and uh, Frankie. And... Uh, We'll be doing these videos now. My uh, go live date, or taking off the training wheels, or removing the safety net, whatever that uh, begins on September 1st. Uh, that's when I become officially houseless, and uh, I strike out and I, I get out there on the public lands. And, and as an American citizen, I enjoy the land that belongs to me and belongs to you. Assuming that the listening audience is you're an American, um, and I'm gonna get out and see what that experience is like, and hopefully I can get some film of it and and show everybody back home what's going on and, and hopefully it's good footage so anyway thanks for making it through this uh, this is my my video here the intro and so the a lot of the videos you're gonna find here are gonna be things that have to do with prospecting uh, I like to make music videos every once in a while I like making videos and then um, uh, 
I may upload some of these uh, bushcraft, I guess is the, the technical word for it. Stuff like how to make rope out of grass and stuff like that. But anyway, thanks for watching, man. I uh, hope that it's uh, entertaining, but not too entertaining, if you know what I mean. But uh, thanks for watching.